shame on all of you. Oh. Now that's it. Yeah, that that's is it. it. That is it. That that's is it. it. You know what? I don't want to eat with you people, so I'm going to take my food and my wine. I'm going to go sit in my car in the driveway, and I'm going to listen to some news, and I'm going to read little articles on my phone and eat my food, and you all can sit here at the table and stuff your big fat faces and talk about the people that are being brutally executed in the street by our police state. I'll be in the driveway. Happy Thanksgiving, mother <laughs> <laughs> The oath opens in select cities tomorrow. Please welcome Ike Barinholtz. Congratulations, you did a great job with the movie. I just saw uh, Dakota Johnson backstage. Yes. And it's crazy because I was uh, supposed to be in Fifty Shades of Grey. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I, I shot like a whole screen test and they watched it and then they cast Dakota in that part. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which I think is good because it would have changed the movie a lot. <laughs> and my ass is too hairy. I don't know what to say. Uh, How are you, pal? I'm doing well. Thank yeah. you for being here. You know, you well. Tell us, tell, explain the idea behind this movie because it's very interesting, and I had no idea w where it was headed when I watched it. If you can imagine a politically divided America where we have a president who's obsessed with loyalty, uh huh. Step outside reality and okay. try to. I don't know what that would yeah. look like. Yeah. Um, but he <laughs> he 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 comes up with an idea for a loyalty oath that he wants people to sign, and people go crazy. And the deadline to sign it is the Friday after Thanksgiving. So the whole movie takes place in the house the week of Thanksgiving. And it kind of starts off this kind of like funny political, uh, like family, uh, you know, don't talk politics at the table. And then it turns into just bloody chaos. Yes. Do you worry at all that you might give him some ideas, like as far as this loyalty oath goes? I keep checking Twitter to make sure that my <laughs> movie is not a documentary now. <laughs> but, uh, but he's busy. He has important things to do, like, Hang out with Kanye. Yeah, right, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Tiffany Haddish plays your wife in the movie. She does. How did that come to, to pass? Uh, I saw her in the movie Keanu. Okay. Great movie. I, th I just thought she... Oh, yeah, was, with yeah, uh, Key and Peele made Key that. And Peele, yeah, yeah right. uh, Peter Atencio directed it. And I just thought, she would be a great wife for me. <laughs> in, in a movie, in a movie. <laughs> and so, so uh, she came to the set of The Mindy Project after she read the script, and we had this, like, really long talk, and she's like, I love this movie, and I never seen anything like it before and, and we you know we hugged and I said it is so great meeting you and she goes we were in meet the Spartans together in 2006 you don't remember that <laughs> and I was like true I, I don't remember that um, but uh, yeah she's a pretty, she's a national treasure yeah she is a national yeah, treasure yeah you but and you also I mean you should start buying stocks because you met her b before she was Tiffany Haddish she was well you didn't even remember meeting her at the time I didn't and and she I always think I'm the most likable person on set <laughs> and compared to her I'm like Alex Jones like, <laughs> really yeah man like like she's so so, like likable like like the Alex first joke <laughs> well you know i guess some people you don't think people like him on set <laughs> Where, where's crafty where's crafty <laughs> um, uh, um, but uh yeah at the first night she was there she like met the cast for the first time and we were rapping for the night and everyone was talking about what time they were meeting up and i was like what are you guys doing and like oh tiffany invited us to dj Khaled's birthday party at diddy's house Really? Yeah, and I wasn't invited. No. No. Really? Yeah, everyone else, like Nora Dunn was there. Wait a like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Nora Dunn was invited and you weren't? Yes. <laughs> why did, I why don't did know. you single Nora out for that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love you, know. you Nora. Uh, but I was I was bummed. And then, Tiffany, if you're watching it, you owe me an apology. Oh, you never discussed this with no, her? No, I don't I don't want to discuss it. Oh, wow. I'm hurt. This would be the moment where we bring her out. We really get into it. Hi, Tiff. <laughs> Maybe she Not wanted her. you as a director to be at home preparing the next day's shoot. I think that's probably what it was. Yes, that is probably what I, it was. I'm over it now. You it's also fine. cast your brother to play your brother I in did. the movie. I did. I my, did. My brother's my brother because we fight a lot in the movie. Yes. And I thought we could draw from all the fights we had in our <laughs> Were lives. Were you? You know? What's it? Is he? He's younger than you? He's six years younger yeah. than me. 
but my father's also in the movie. I follow the uh, Jimmy Kimmel principle, which is just hire your family. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Much like uh, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> uh, I only trust the people closest yes. to me. Have, to you, have you met my son, Kusei? <laughs> Kusei looks good. He just took a picture with me backstage. Uh, yeah, it was a family affair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So what did your dad, what part did your dad have in well, the My movie? dad's an attorney in real life, so mm -hmm. I, I cast him as attorney. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, we, he, it's all on the phone. His part's all on the phone, you know? And, and he recorded it, and I called him, like, a few weeks later, and I go, hey, uh, about your part. And he goes, say no more. Say no more. I understand you have to make tough cuts, and uh, if I'm not in the movie, I'm not in the movie, and I get it. I was like, dude, no, I just re-record it, dude. Chill out. Put a jacket over your head and re-record it. He was, he's so show business. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was but good he's good. He's you off signed, the hook. He signed with UTA. Has he? <laughs> he Wouldn't is, that be something? He's dating Cardi B. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, that's great. He left my mom, though. Oh, wow. Well, and that's you know. really sad to me. Well, listen, if he's going to date Cardi B, it's probably for the best. My mom's dating Channing Tatum. Uh, wow, well, that's great. <laughs> Thanksgiving's going to be weird this year. <laughs> uh, I bet he'll get you a nice Christmas gift, yeah, though. I bet he will. Your, do your parents love being a part of the, of the movie experience? Yeah, yeah, they got to go to the... Uh, premieres and stuff uh -huh. and, and dress up. My dad, they've been to premieres before because I've, since I've been going to them, I've been bringing them. And I, uh, I brought my dad to the Neighbors 2 premiere. Okay. And my dad occasionally partakes in a legal substance in oh, California. Yeah. Oh, occasionally. A yeah, right. A legal. I see. Gotcha. <laughs> and we were at the Neighbors. Do his clients know this? No. Do they, no. When they go through their billable hours, are they going like, <laughs> Wait men. a minute, there aren't 38 hours in a day. <laughs> Uh, it says you're miscellaneous uh, munchies. What uh, but we were there, you know, and uh, Seth Rogen was there, and he's, uh -oh. he's, uh -huh. you know, he, he enjoys that oh, a no. little bit. And we're talking, and Seth fires uh, some of that up. My dad, like, kind of perks up and is watching, like, you know. And I motion him, I'm going to go, one hit. <laughs> and he goes, and he takes it. It's a weird he... conversation to have to have with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Only take one hit of Seth Rogen's Outer Space Week, Dad. <laughs> but he takes one hit of it, and he, he smokes like, like, like old school, like, <laughs> like that, you know? Like, and, um, Is that the old way to I smoke? guess that's how they did it in the 60s, you know? So he Do smokes, that one more time, because like, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's the that's that's thing. All right. <laughs> So, so like, whatever, like, 25 minutes go by, and finally my brother's like, hey, we gotta go, where's dad? <laughs> oh, no. And they had rented out, like, 14 different hotel rooms all on one floor, and we went through every single room. And finally, we got to the last room, and he's by himself in the room with this <laughs> giant chair, and he goes, I have to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. That's too much. But he's a great attorney, and you should reach out to him. <laughs> if you have any legal troubles, I guarantee everyone. His movie is called The Old. It opens in New York, L.A., and D.C. tomorrow, nationwide, October 19th. Oh, we'll be on Howard Stern together on yes, Monday morning. Yes, we will, my friend. Baba uh, Booey. Yeah, Baba Booey to you as well. <laughs> I am Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.